Hello. This lesson is about an electric circuit. I have an infinitely long circuit. This circuit extend indefinitely. So it's very, very long. The question is, what is the resistance when you look at the input terminals? These resistors are all the same, extend indefinitely to the right hand side. What is resistance of this infinitely long network? Let's consider the network contains two sections. We cut apart the the long network into two sections. Where do we cut? We cut along this dotted line. So I have two sections. One section is this one. The other section is this one. And notice that this section is infinitely long. So let's call this original circuit Diagram A. So we cut it. I call this part part B. And I call this part part C. Let's compare A and C. We see that they are essentially equivalent. You see? This extends indefinitely long. So, this is equivalent to this. If I call the resistance at these two terminals, capital R, then here, across these two terminals, the resistance is also capital R. Because we mentioned A, and C are exactly the same. So here I write down, notice A and C are exactly the same. This A and this C are exactly the same. Therefore, A and C have the same equivalent resistance. We call it capital R, as indicated. You see, I indicated here, R, R. Now, let's connect this to this section. Connect together. If you connect together, this is equivalent to the original circuit A. Right? But then, because this is equivalent resistance R, so when you connect it, connect, connect uh, the section B and section C together, section C is essentially capital R, so I have this. B and C together is exactly the original A. So let's continue. What is the resistance, equivalent resistance, of two resistors in parallel? small r and capital R in parallel, what is the equivalent resistance? This is a formula. The equivalent resistance is given by this formula. So let's do that. Common denominator, and 1 over, we flip it, 
So that is the equivalent resistance. Therefore, when we connect B to C, when we connect B to C, this R is connected in parallel with small r, and we worked out when small r and capital R in parallel, this is the equivalent resistance. So, this and this in parallel is this. But remember, the input terminal, these two terminals, the equivalent resistance between these two terminals is just capital R. So, the capital R is equal to this small r, this equivalent resistance, and this small r, these three resistors in series. Therefore, I can have the relation Capital R is R plus R, here, yeah. R plus R, and plus this. So R plus R is 2R, 2R plus this. And you move the 2R to the other side, capital R minus 2R equals this. So I can cross multiply, I get this and expand these two brackets, multiply together. We expand it, we get this, capital R, small r, capital R, small r cancels. I have a quadratic equation. The quadratic equation is in capital R. So I have A, which is 1. I have B, which is negative 2R. I have C is negative 2R square, so I use a formula, quadratic formula. So minus B plus minus square root B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. Simplify the inside of the square root, I get this. Simplify further, I get this. I can square root this part. I get 2r square root 3. Okay. Just simplify this square root part. I have a plus here, minus here. If I take the minus sign, then the capital R is negative. I cannot have a negative resistance, so I reject the negative sign, I only take the positive sign. So if you take the positive sign, this is the result. And this is our answer. This is the equivalent resistance of the original infinitely long resistor network. That's the end. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.